Ja, aber... Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool and check this out I have got another e-bike to review I know some of you out there are probably thinking he's selling another e-bike well this is the first e-bike that I've done a video on for quite a while and funny enough I get so many messages about will you review this e-bike will you review that e-bike honestly the amount of messages that I get is unbelievable and I ignore most of them but when this one came along this is the Engway the model is an E26 electric bike pedal assisted 250 watt motor UK spec e-bike and what a beast look at it it is a beast it's a fat tire e-bike as you can see the tires uh, the wheel size is 26 inches by four inches the tires are four inches wide it's a bright yellow color it is available in other colors as well it's available in blue and it's also available in a very nice sort of dark gray color as well but i thought that i would choose yellow this really bright yellow color and really you know when i got the email i thought you know what because like i say i get so many emails about different types of bikes and when i got this one from engway you know i've seen quite a lot of people riding engway bikes in blackpool it's probably the, the brand that i see the most and and when i got the email for this one i thought you know what i, I think i'll get it i think i'll get this bike because it just looked a real beast and as you can see here it, it weighs by the way the weight of this bike is 34 and a half kilos that is not light oh that is i can lift it but i tell you what that is that is not light so uh what we'll do is we'll take a little look around the bike we'll take a close-up of all the features it's got like I say, it's uh, pedal assisted UK spec. It does have a throttle on it. It is only used to walk the bike. So you can walk the bike and you can use the throttle. It's got a twist throttle on it. You can use the throttle just to walk the bike. Helps you to walk with the bike and then you're not pushing all that way. As you can see, we've got a nice rack on the back as well. Um, there's two different types of this bike. They also do a step through version. It doesn't have this bar on it here so you can also get the um what's the model again the m20 the e26 sorry without this bar and it's that would be the step through so you'd be able to step through like that whereas this one um it's not the step through model but uh, so the way i would get on it is just like this the seat by the way also acts as suspension there's no rear suspension on this bike no rear suspension the seat itself the seat post actually has the suspension in the seat for the rear suspension and it does actually have independent suspension on the front oh by the way i want to give a shout out to jason from blackpool bike services who kindly helped me make sure that the bike was all put together correctly i didn't have too much of a problem putting it together but there were a couple of bits the instructions well they weren't the best and uh, jason got in contact with me and he said he'd help us just make sure everything was right the gears the brakes and all the the nuts and bolts and all that sort of thing and he came around and he helped me to put it together he's really really good i'll show you his card on the screen now and if you live in blackpool or nearby he can come and collect your bike and he can work he works on the move so there you go that's a shout out to jason thanks very much jason I'm going to take it on a bit of a ride around here. We're going to have a bit of a ride up the promenade and we'll see some of the sights. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a close up at some of its features. Right, right now, um, I didn't mention the price, did I? Now, the UK price of this bike is 12.99 which i think is pretty reasonable 
for all the features that you get on this bike. Like I said before, it's got a 250 watt motor and it does speeds of up to 15.5 miles an hour. That's restricted for the UK. It might be different in another country. If you're in America, for instance, I think you're allowed to do up to 25 miles an hour in America. Um, as I mentioned before, it does have a throttle on it. The throttle is set for walking with the bike. Although, if you know how to work the menu, you can actually go into the menu and you can set the throttle so that you can use the throttle. And I believe you can do up to about 28 miles an hour, but that must be off the road. You cannot use a throttle on the road <coughs> on an e-bike. So I just got to get that in. It's got five different power assist modes. And I think, to be quite honest, I think uh, I would probably just stick it in the top mode maybe three three to five because the, the first two you don't really feel that much assistance as soon as the wheels start moving that's when the power comes on and you feel that power and you really don't have to give it much effort at all and that's the whole thing about an e-bike you do have to pedal the bike of course but as soon as you start pedaling and the wheels start turning that assistance then comes in so if you're ever riding into the wind it's effortless you know what it's like when you ride into the wind it's really hard, isn't it? And when you're riding up a hill as well, oh, it's a nightmare riding up a hill. But with an e-bike like this one, it's virtually effortless. All you've got to do is keep turning the pedals. Um, it's got seven speed. It's got Shimano seven speed gears on it. Nice quality gears. The brakes are hydraulic. Now there is a bit of a problem with the brakes and uh, there's a bit of a hang up for me this the brakes on this bike are the wrong way around now normally your right hand your right brake there that would be your front wheel brake but on this it's not the other way around so this right brake here if i was to spin the wheel and i pull the right brake it operates the rear brake and that's I don't know about that folks I, I would have a word with Engway about it. I'm going to mention that to them because I don't think that's um, a particularly good thing maybe it's set up for Europe because they do say that the brakes are normally set up for whichever side of the road you ride on <clears throat> but for me that's a little bit of a I'm not too sure about that so uh, they can be swapped around you could actually take the brakes off and just switch the cables around all you have to do is unwrap all the cables here take the brakes off but because of hydraulic you might want to get an expert to do it so I would probably speak to the chap that helped me build the bike and get him to simply swap the cables around so that then your front brake is on the right side so that's a bit of a problem for me with this bike I mean fantastic bike I mean just look at it it's, it's amazing and something else as well um, obviously we've got suspension on the front which can be locked so you've got suspension there as you see but also there's a locking thing where you can lock the suspension which could be handy i think if you're ever going up like a hill you know when you're sort of bouncing up and down a bit and it's taking a bit of energy out of the your pedaling so sometimes it might be worth locking that suspension the chain look at the chain there apparently this is um uh Jason told me about this he said it's a chain that's coated and it doesn't um, I'm not sure if it doesn't need oil on it but if you look at the chain it doesn't actually look like it's got any oil on it but that's the way it's supposed to be um, obviously you will need to maintain the bike according to the instructions I'm sure in the instructions it will tell you how to maintain different parts of the bike you know um, so that those will all be in the instructions the instructions were not particularly brilliant um i've had better instructions you know what the, you know what it's like don't you when you you're having to sort of translate chinese instructions sometimes they don't always come out right and they were a little bit vague i have to say the instructions but we got it together in the end i just think it's uh, it, it's brilliant as you can see the motor is in the rear wheel so the motor is actually there inside the wheel We've got the, the gears here on the back wheel, of course, the derailleur. I've got a derailleur protector as well. According to that derailleur, it's a tour, it's a tawny 
it's a tawny derailleur there with the protector on it and here we've got the the rack which you can put a bag on there's all sorts of bolts and that where you can put a bag on there the rear light is also connected to the the rack we've got obviously a headlight on the front a rear light and a brake light as well very very handy a brake light as well we've got uh, some bolts under here for the a water bottle or maybe you want to put a water bottle there and in my pocket i have got a key now this key here unlocks the battery i hope <laughs> So that key goes in there. Now, if you don't want to drag the bike into your house to charge it, or you, 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 you haven't got a whole lot of room for that sort of thing, you can take the battery off like this. It's, it's, it's a heavy battery, I have to say. It is a pretty heavy battery. It's a Lion battery, and it has a capacity of 16 amp hours, nominal voltage 48 volts. Yeah, now the range on this bike is actually really, really good. If you're using the pedal assist mode and you're not bombing it, you're not using the top level and you're in no, no normal conditions, you can actually get up to 85 miles of range. That is really, really good. That's the most range that I think I've had on, on any bike. If you're using the throttle mode, however, you're not going to get that kind of range. You're probably going to half that, but that's the range you can get when you use the pedal assist mode and you're not really giving it the full, you can get over 80 miles. That's amazing. So there you go. You can actually take the battery off and you can plug it into the charger. You can plug it in right there. There's also a level meter on it, which tells you, if you press the button, it tells you how much charge it's got. Yep, so I'll just put this battery back on again now. <laughs> it's really heavy, I have to say. That is very heavy, that battery. But I think though, being able to take the battery off is very, very handy. So that the battery is now back on again. You can also adjust the, the handlebars up and down. There's a, a nut there that you can adjust and you can adjust them back a little bit or you could just have them straight. There's also some angles on there which tells you what angle it is. Um, so yeah, so there you go. I think now it's time to take it on the road and see what it's like. I tell you what, you'll definitely hear this thing coming because these fat tires, they make a right racket. You know, sometimes, have you heard when people come up behind you on an e-bike, you can't even hear them coming. You'll definitely hear me coming on this. Let's get on the road and try it out. Now then, wow, just look at this. I said that we were going to see some sights. My goodness. Can you see the tower behind me? That's Blackpool Tower over there. Wow. And we've got the North Pier over there. How far away is it? Must be about four miles away. But anyway, I am now up here in Cleveland. Yes, I've moved up the coast a little bit. And uh, I'm currently on this bit of a slipway here on the beach. And what I'm gonna do, we've got a nice promenade along here in Cleveland. We'll put it through its paces. We'll test out the speed settings and uh, we'll see how it goes, shall we? I'm not gonna ride it on the beach because I don't wanna get sand all over it. Now, I know some people do ride on the beach, but I don't want to be cleaning this bike up. It's, it's really clean at the moment. We'll have a ride up and down. You'll get to see the sights of Cleveland. So let's do that then. I'll see you on the promenade. 
Okay, so I am now on the promenade now. Amazing promenade this here in Cleveland, and it's time to see how this bike performs. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start off very gently. I'm gonna put it into assistance mode number one. So we're in assistance mode number one, and uh, I've got my helmet back on again now. Better make sure my helmet's on. I'm being a good boy. In this video, I have forgotten the helmet in the past when I've done bike videos, but um, I've remembered it for this one. I can see a boat coming in over there. The boat coming in from the Isle of Man. Oh, there's two boats coming in, actually. Yeah, amazing. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get going, shall we? Assistance mode number one, here we go. Oh, I tell you what, I can actually feel the power. That's taking me up to about eight miles an hour in the first number one assistance mode. I'm hardly having to do anything. All I have to do is keep the pedals turning. Let's go up to two. Oh, you can really feel it when you press that button. It really gives you a bit of a boost. It's taken us up to 10 miles an hour. So let's now, I've got a bit of a clear looking promenade here now. Let's go up to number three. We're taking it up slowly. We're now up to 12. Let's go up to four. Every time it goes up a bit more, yeah. It's going pretty well at the moment. I'm doing 13 miles an hour at the moment, but it feels like I'm doing a lot more. It's got to slow down a bit here. There's someone pushing their pram. So we'll take it up to five in a minute. Okay, now we've got past the, the lady with the pram. We'll take it up to five. Here we go. Right, top, top mode now. We're motoring. We're motoring now. We're doing 15.5 miles an hour. It feels like I'm going faster. This is the legal limit in the UK for pedal assisted electric bikes, 15.5 miles an hour. Remember, it can be unlimited. If you're off road or anything like that, you can unlimit it. You can also use the throttle as well. I spoke about that before. I'm not gonna tell you how to, to use the throttle, but I might give you a link to another video where a chat tells you how to to set the throttle up, but I'm um, just coming around this. Oh, by the way, this part of the promenade here was used for Star Wars. There's, have we got any Star Wars fans out there? This part of Cleveland's promenade was used for the film Star Wars Andor, and they're doing a lot of work around here at the moment. All this round here was the set for Star Wars Andor. Amazing. I'm just coming down this. Uh, we'll give it a bit of a hill start, shall we? OK, I just broke off for a quick second because I wanted to tell you about riding this bike without assistance. Now, um, the thing is, if you were trying to ride an electric bike without assistance, it tend to be quite difficult to pedal. And this one is no different. It's an absolute beast, this bike. Almost 35 kilograms in weight. And with those fat tires, those four inch fat tires, this is not an easy bike to ride without the assistance. But if you do get stuck, you still can pedal the bike, but what I would do is I'd stick it down to first gear, first gear, and then you've got the easy pedaling then in first gear, and just the, hopefully that will get you home. But you don't really want to be riding an e-bike without any assistance because it's hard work. Unless you want to keep fit and you want a bit of a, a bit of a workout, then yeah, go right ahead. But there you go. Uh, they're not a lot of fun to ride without the assistance. I'll just start off down here, I'll just turn it round. This might be a little bit difficult, this. I might need to knock my gears down a bit. So let's, <laughs> let's see how we go. So, oh, right, let's see, oh, needs a bit of a, need a bit of a push, but I'm moving, I'm moving. I did need a bit of a push there, to be honest, but now that the assistance has kicked in, it's, uh, it's effortless. And like I say, all you've got to do is just keep the pedals, just keep the pedals turning. That's all you have to do. As long as the pedals keep turning, the uh, the bike will go. But that, that cafe there, that's uh, Fleetwood Beach Kiosk Cafe. That was used in the Star Wars series there. If you watch it yourself, you'll see it. But I'm now coming back now. I'm in third gear. I tend to leave it in the single gear, you know. I don't tend to switch gears a lot, but I'm on a flat at the moment and there's no need to use a high gear or a low gear, just a medium gear. <laughs> the lady with the pram is, uh, is actually, she actually watches my channel. <laughs> 
So I'm heading back this way. I'll, I'll head down the promenade a bit more. I'll go up to another gear. I'll go up to see what the gears are. It's, it's got seven gears, seven speed, which is not, not a whole lot, but it doesn't bother me all that much because I'm not the sort of person that uses a lot of gears. I'm currently in fifth. I'll go up to seven. We'll go up to top gear, shall we? And I want to give a, a shout to Jason who helped me with the bike. He made sure the gears were all set up right and that when he changed the gear, it wouldn't jump, jump out of gear. And I'm now in seventh and it's quite, you might be able to tell that I'm not pedaling quite as much. The wind is coming at me as well. So I think ideally I'll knock it down. I'll probably go down to fourth, fourth gear. I've gone down to fourth gear now. That's a bit easier. So I'm really motoring along. I'm, I'm doing about 12 miles an hour. I'm, I like to just take it easy. And if the, the top speed is 15.5 miles an hour, then I like to just cruise along at say something like 12 or 13. I'm quite happy with that myself as I make my way around. It, it starts to curve a little bit here, as you can see, it's amazing, isn't it? this promenade. They've recently put a load of rocks down to try to save the sand around here. They broke the beach up quite a bit, but uh, I'm making my way along now. Oh, the sun's come out again. I thought that the sun had gone in, but it's come back out again. Nice here at night as well when all these lights are lit up. These lights are amazing. We've got a, a flag there for the the Seaside Award, clean beach there, that flag. Oh, I just almost got taken out by a seagull then. Did you see that? Wow. <laughs> I'm now heading towards Blackpool. I wonder how long it would take me to get to Blackpool. Well, that might be another video. I ride all the way along the promenade from Cleveland to Blackpool. I could do all the way from Fleetwood to, to Blackpool, couldn't I? But I'm just cruising along now at 12 miles an hour. And it's all I've got to do is just keep the pedals turning and the bike will keep going. So I've just got to be careful. There's some people up here now. I don't want to go too fast past people. I don't like to go too... Have they had e-bikes go flying past you, you know, really, really fast? You know, if you were to step to one side, they'd take you out. Well, I'm always very careful when I'm going past people. I slow right down. So this is actually the border now. I'm coming into Blackpool now, believe it or not. As I go past this monument here, there's a sign there saying Cleveland. I'm now in Blackpool, whoa. So I am riding into the wind, like I say, and that's one of the things about an electric bike. They do give you that assistance, that little bit of help that you need when you're riding into the wind or riding up a hill. They take out all the, they take out all that effort that it takes. So we're getting a little look at Blackpool now. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to turn around here. I'm not going to go any further that way, so I'll just turn around. Here we go again, right, I'm heading back now. So let's go down to first gear, shall we? So this is first gear. I'm using first gear at the moment, and you might be able to tell that I'm pedaling like mad. And if I go up to, I go up to uh, about fifth, I'm in fifth now. You can probably tell now that I'm not pedaling as much. I'm not pedaling as much. If I go down to first again, look at that. Oh, oh, that this is for going up hills. <laughs> So we go up to fifth. That's more like it. Not having to pedal. Some people having the pictures taken with Cleveland. It's like being in Las Vegas, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm in sixth gear now. That's a little bit too much. So I'll knock it back down. I'll go down to fourth. I'm back down into fourth gear. I'm heading back to where I started. We're back into Cleveland again. I'm doing about 12 miles an hour. So I'm just cruising along here. I've got it set to assistance mode number three, which is kind of, if you leave it in the middle assistance mode of three, you're probably going to do a, a few more miles. Thank you. 
if you have the assistance mode set to the top one of number five and you leave it in that, then your range is probably not going to be quite as good. So I think it's probably a good idea. If you use the bike quite a lot, if you're using it for a long time, to set maybe set the assistance mode to the middle one, like three or four. Um, I did see a video where someone said he doesn't bother with any of the, the other assistance mode, he just sticks it straight up to five all the time. Well, maybe, maybe you could just do that, you know, but you will get a little bit more range out of it if you take it easy. But certainly if you're going up a hill or if you're going into the wind or anything like that, then yeah, stick it right up to five and uh, you know, you'll you'll get up the hill or you'll ride into the wind with no, no, uh, barely any effort at all. It's just a case of keeping the pedals turning around. And uh, there you go. Can you see that big hole there? Look at that there, wow. That's amazing though, isn't it? Nice piece of artwork. Anyway, uh, that was a little test of the bike there. And I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's just turn it off now. All the way down to zero. I'll turn the bike off. I have to hold the thing down to turn it off. Yeah. Get off the bike. I'll put the stand on. Oh, there you go. Well, well, that was quite enjoyable. Yeah, I think I've given it a pretty good test there. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really like the bike. It is amazing. It looks amazing. I like the color. Don't forget that there are other colors available. Blue and like a sort of really dark gray color. Um, I really, really like the bike. I think it's brilliant. The only, the only downside for me, as I mentioned before, is the brakes being on the wrong side. So your front brake is on your left and your rear brake is on your right. To me, that's, I don't know why they've done that, but I'll have a word with them. I'll mention that in the UK, that that's um, a bit of a, that's a bit of a down point on it, but it can be fixed, it can be fixed. And uh, I'll have a word with um, Jason, who I mentioned before, and see if he could play around with these wires here and get them switched over so that the brakes are on the right side but there you go folks i'll put some details in the description i believe there's a discount code on this bike as well which was supplied to me by anyway i'll put a link to that in the description you can get some money off this bike right here so check out the description for that so there you go folks that was the anyway e26 electric bike pedal assisted electric bike it's got a range of up to 85 miles in pedal assist mode it does have a throttle you can unlock it i'll put a link to a video where you can do that but for riding on the uk roads remember a throttle is illegal unless you're off the road but i think it's been cracking i've enjoyed riding it around i've enjoyed riding it up and down cleveland's promenade here and the thing about what I like about e-bikes is that they just take that uh, that effort out of riding a bike. You know when you're riding a bike into the wind and you're going up here, it's no fun, is it really? And an electric bike, it just takes that effort. It, it you're still keeping fit, you're still getting out there, you're still pedaling, and that's what I like about it. It's just if you're getting a bit older and you want something just to give you a little bit of assistance you can't do any better than an e-bike and this Engway e26 is an absolute beast a fat tire bike as well massive wheel i mean look at the wheels there those wheels are absolutely huge and you can certainly hear this thing coming <laughs> because there's some tire noise on this bike so anyway all the links are in the description if you want to buy one for yourself and check out the other channels as well that i'll put a link to I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.